All right, first, why don't you go to alexmessenger.com? So what's the first thing that catches your eye? Alex, messenger, and a diamond. Okay. And what's the, what are some words that might come to mind when you're describing the site? Affordable makes me think cheap. Okay. Is that a positive or a negative connotation? It has a little mind? bit of a negative connotation for me. Okay. Um, Would you recommend another word? No. Just affordable makes me think cheap. Okay. What are some words that come to mind? Tranquil. Okay. Um, anything you'd like to see different about the design? Uh, this is moving too fast for me. It, it, like, it's interesting when I said tranquil. I feel like the site is both too tranquil and too busy all at the same time. I mean, not too tranquil, but tranquil and busy at the same time. I like this background a lot. Yeah. But this, I don't like. I don't like websites that where things flash at me. Like I'm trying to read and mm. something's switching over here. It drives yeah. me nuts. Yeah. I prefer something's here, and I can click with arrows to go through if I want. I don't like things that flip through like that and not at that rate at all. It bugs me. Okay, so you would rather see that not moving by itself. That is correct, but my second choice would be slower. Okay. So, um, how about the text on the home page? How does that, what does that do to your um, interest in contacting Alex or not con contacting Alex? This, oh, if I read yeah, this? Yeah, how does that impact your likelihood to contact him or not contact okay. him? Customize solutions. Your website can look like anything you want and do anything you want. Hmm. Update it yourself if you want. I feel like when you write this that you won't have any ideas about how it should look. And maybe I don't know how it should look. Mm -hmm. So that leaves me sort of, eh. Mm -hmm. Update okay. it yourself if you want. You will be able to modify both text and images and add or remove pages and give others access to your site if you choose. Or Alec can make edits for you if you prefer. Clear communication. I'm the one that listens to your needs and goals, designs a solution, and implements it for you. This keeps things from being lost in translation. So a minute ago, someone on this website was called Alex, and now there's an I'm. And mm -hmm. so I'm not sure who I'm is since okay. before. So what do you think works better, first person or third person? I think third person. Alex listens to your needs and goals, designs a solution, and implements it. So the customized solution piece, you feel like it doesn't, you feel like he's not going to have any ideas. Right, exactly. I would, uh, yes. Mm. So would it be better if it said something like, I don't know, uh, like we'll help you. We'll help you choose a design. Yes, something? we'll help you find the design that, that you know, that, that gets you to meet the people, you know, get the clients you want, right. get get the that product. That with you or something, or I don't know. 
is. But you actually want the website to do something. I don't yeah. want a website that resonates with me. I want right. a website that kids that are drawn. Customers. Yeah, exactly. Find the design and features that bring your customers. Right, exactly. Or that attract customers. Yes, something like that. I, you can play with it later. I don't want to, it's not always helpful to write together, but just. Okay. I, I think you should, the specific writing you should do later, but that's. Fair enough. All right. Um, 12 years. Let me see. 12 years of experience in public and private sectors with dozens of clients. Have you, even with all your like work at web design firms, you've only had dozens of clients? Yeah. Okay. Working with your budget and timeline. I, I, nothing is lost in translation would be a stronger sentence there. You can okay. take it or leave it. Working with your budget and timeline. I'm a thrifty person at heart and know that there are dozens of decisions that can affect the price of your project. I give you options for saving money. So see, I feel like this is the right place to say this rather than leading with affordable. When I see affordable at the beginning, it makes me think, oh, this guy has to be cheap because he's not very good. Got it. Um, now you're explaining to me that you're a thrifty person at heart and mm -hmm. I can see, oh, This is why it's affordable. So, I don't know. I, I, I think Great. that's good down there. Good. When you work with me, you'll receive an itemized estimate. I do the work myself and work out of my home, keeping overhead to a minimum. You will be clear about what you're getting, and it will be on time and within budget. Okay. What do you want to click on next? Oh. You click on things? Oh, process. Okay, what if I were actually going to build a website? Let me just think. Affordable. I don't know. Let me really try and get in the frame of mind because now that I'm thinking like, okay, I have this math business I want to start and mm -hmm. um, now affordable is looking better. Like if I just came across this, how interested would I be? Affordable, customized websites. I don't know. I would click process. What I would really want to know if I were... Mm, and I would look through and be like, mm, this doesn't give me a quote at all. No, that doesn't tell me how much it's going to cost. I want to know. Hmm. Cute family. So, I mean, the thing I really want to know now mm. is how... I would have any, like, I mean, I don't want to even call this guy if this was like $20,000, but maybe it's $2,000. Oh, yeah. Right. He says affordable, though, but that's what, but I, I guess I would contact. Mm-hmm. That's what I would do next if I were interested. So, I mean, I think probably the least expensive websites that I've done mm -hmm. are around maybe 800 bucks. Mm-hmm. Do... What are the most expensive? Um... Probably like three or four thousand. Mm -hmm. I would love to know that. That would give me the courage to call. I feel like prices yeah. have ranged from eight hundred to four thousand. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, I don't know. I don't know if that's. I don't know what. Have you looked at other people's websites who do private web design? Mm. I think. I think. Mon I mean, I've looked at a lot of agencies. Mm hmm. And I've looked at individuals. I haven't seen too many people put prices out there. Okay. Yep. But I agree with you that it's in, it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, it is. And, you know, that's truthfully my price range. Right. Like, if you want a $30,000 $30, website, yeah. I'm probably not your person because it's right. going to be more complicated than my skill set or my time allows. Right. You know, like, I can't build Stone Mountain Resort's website. Okay. Um. Our first meeting involves a discussion about what your needs are. What 
do you want your website to do for you? Who are your customers and what are their motivations? The result will be a basic site architecture. Most of keywords will incorporate in the site in order to help you be found on Google. What other sites inspire you? How would you like to think of your brand? What words would you use to describe it? At this point, you'll be able to choose the level of visual design that you would like. Your needs and budget. Alex often works with a design firm, Xandra Design. With mm, I like knowing that. Mm -hmm. Is this a live link? Mm -hmm. It's not now, but it will be. Yeah, no, it's fine. Just taking a minute. Okay. Development. Oh. Yeah. Already I can tell like this is a design firm. You know? Right. It has a nice sense of yeah. design. I, I think she's great. So these are different websites she's built? Where's the tester user? Te how do I get back to user testing? I uh, hit the back button. Maybe that should open in a new window. I expected it to open in a new window. Yep. Development testing and launch during the development process, you can expect Alex to ask clarifying questions and show you small sections of the site to make sure it matches your expectations. Alex and you, you and Alex, you and Alex will work together. Okay. All right. Yep. You're not going to write that down? <laughs> <laughs> you and Alex will work together, right? Because you're referring to yourself. Am I wrong? We'll work together to test the site with actual users and make sure nothing is confusing. When you've given final approval, we'll launch it, launch it to the world. See, we'll. Yep. Hmm, that's tricky. Wheel. Go ahead with wheel. Okay. Training and tracking. Alex will spend time with you and members of your team to make sure you know how to keep content fresh. He'll show you how to track your number of visitors, where they've come from, and what they're doing on your site. And he will always be available for questions in the future. This doesn't mean anything to me. Um, okay. Does it detract? Well, I guess when I read the WordPress thing, I think if it were me and I were looking for a site, I would come to you and be like, can I do it myself with WordPress if that's what this guy does? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know how hard WordPress is. Um, well, I think the answer is to do it basically, to do a basic site in yourself, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I go into the back end code and I make custom things. So, so oftentimes that... people start doing stuff on their own and then if they want to do specific stuff, they get kind of stuck. Mm. So because WordPress is open source and since I know programming, I can kind of build off of that. That all that you just said yes. wasn't clear to me from this. It sounded right. to me like you just used this simple program. Got it. Okay. Again, is it the same thing here? Do you go into the programming on this? Mm -hmm also not clear to me. And why are you telling me about Salesforce? Why would I want to know that? That's a growing area of my business. What does um, that mean? Why would I care that, that you well, led a team? I, I in, feel in like I have enough experience now that I could probably lead a small company in implementing Salesforce for their organization. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like I guess I'd like people to know that. I see. That's what you're... I, I think this needs to start with this sentence. Alex consults on implementation, da da, da like, okay. do you know what I mean? And then yep. a little... Okay. 
that was a little lost on me. Mm -hmm. Okay, clients. Well, that's nice. get to the next one. It looks like I just click through. Oh, that was weird. It seemed like you were a little confused by that. How do I get to the next one? Right, like I sort of thought I, I sort of expected this because she sees she's clean earth technology. Uh -huh. So I expected to see clean earth technology over here and to be able to like, see their site. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like click. Yep. Like I thought, I thought now I'd see a recommendation from 89 North. Yeah. N like, I don't know. I thought, I don't know. Yeah. The clean up technology in it is an interesting one. I set up their site on WordPress mm -hmm. and it actually was fairly basic. I didn't do that much mm -hmm. customization. And then they hired another company mm -hmm. to do like a custom theme. Mm hmm. Uh, I guess they got a grant to do it, and I don't know if they thought that mm -hmm. that wasn't in my skill set or whatever. So their site, I've done, I mean, I can certainly include it, Yeah. but it's going to make it look like you did something and other did people did. But I think they can clarify that. It's not so much, let me see if I can find an example of what I'm talking about. more that I expected um, like there are these things I'm trying to think of what it is if it's iTunes and maybe this is complicated mm -hmm. but it's like um, I expected it like I, I sort of like the like um, I think even the um, I think the Cirque du Soleil thing is like this Maybe I, maybe this is just, oh, where'd it go? IMDB, where's Sir? How do you get to Sir? Sir just a lie. Website. Looks like I did, I didn't do it right. Okay, I don't know if you can do this, but like see how like I can kind of like flip through. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. or like on iTunes, there are arrows, I think. And I like I'm looking at this one, but I can just go to the next one. Mm -hmm. I don't know necessarily know what the whole list is. Anyway, that's my favorite way to do that. So going back to the home page. Of my site yes uh, I kind of have that there well it flips through for me okay I don't I don't get to be in charge and it, it well okay so I guess maybe because that's below the fold like oh yep see I guess I don't, I don't know how hard this is to do, mm -hmm. but what I've sort of gotten used to these days are like these little arrows right here. Yeah. That it stays still, and there are arrows, and then I click on the arrows. You know, that was the first plugin that I tried, mm -hmm. but it didn't validate, and my website has to validate for me to pass the class. Okay. But the functionality was a lot better in the other one. 
Okay. Anyway, so. and then I start this like same, just the same thing. Like it's fine. Right. But it's also confusing to me that this didn't match up with anything over here. Okay. Like that's, I sort of yeah, expect I think that's fair. it to be, yeah. even if you don't put the website, I just sort of expected to say Clean Earth Technologies. Then the next thing I can do is click through to, it, but now see 89 North. I guess I have to go back. I have to keep going back in order to flip through. Uh, no, you don't. Must be a way to do next. Contact Alex. Visit 89 North. Work done. Oh, I see. They're all up here now. That kind of switch is hard for me. Okay. Well, let's let's go back to that. Go back to clients. Maybe I should put them all up there. Right, exactly. I need the format to stay the same so that mm -hmm. as I click through, yeah. the system is the same. Are you building this just for a class or because, or, or, for, or for yourself because you want a site or both? Both. Okay. I think for the purpose of your class, it's fine. But mm -hmm. I think as far as usability, mm. I don't want to have you break it. And, no, that's, and that, the, technically that's not hard. Okay. Uh, I see, but ideally you would like to be able to flip through all of them. Well, I realize now I could flip through them. Yeah. But w one, the, the format change. Yeah. All right. I could flip through them if I had realized that mm. see now now all of a sudden everything's up here okay so it seems like you have this recommendation from who is that that first Clean one Earth. yeah and you sort of don't have that from the others is that right like that's right okay so maybe that belongs on the Clean Earth page. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know, but it, mm. it I, anyway, do what you want with that, this method where it doesn't name Clean Earth over, I think it needs to name Clean Earth. Mm -hmm. You can see this when you get to Clean Earth as opposed to what you see on the others. Right. And then, But then once I click on one, the, where I click to, go through them needs to be the same place. Mm. Does that make sense? So that the format could always look like this. Yeah. But Clean Earth would be named up here. And it would always be like this. Like, this first one might say Clean Earth. And then that Clean Earth thing is right here. Now I click on that one. Right, yeah. That one. Yeah. That one. Okay. All right. My favorite thing is the other way, is the big arrows that I go through. But I understand that's more technically difficult. And a previous next button doesn't work for you. Where's a previous next button? I told you on, on the home page you looked at it before. Remember? But that's different. I want to click through this. This doesn't have all your stuff and these words here. Okay. There's no uh, so previous I, next button I here. I see what you're saying. So, ideally, the client's page, right? Yeah. Would have... All right. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if I could do that. Ideally, the client's page is what you're saying would have um, that that slider, right? Right. Mm -hmm. This wouldn't move at all unless I made it, in my opinion. Okay. I, I saw her website, Xandra, and she did too. She just had them automatically flipping through. Right. I don't like things flipping around when I'm reading. Mm -hmm. I'm more distractible than the average person. So you may want right. a bigger user tester group. You know, Susan's a great user tester. As yes, we know. she is. You know, yep. ask her in exchange for some of your hours. She'd love it. Yep. Okay. Um, 
So what about taking this off of the home page and putting it onto the clients but making it more like you described? I would like that would be my preferred. Okay. You know. That's not hard. Okay. That simplifies a lot of things actually. I'm not sure I can do it, but okay. Move. Slider. Huh. Beautiful family. No, they're stunning, aren't they? Yeah. They don't look like they're being eaten alive. We weren't at that point. We weren't at that point. We're okay. He's been building websites professionally since 2000. He's enjoyed working with several talented and visual designers during his freelance career. He partnered with Sarah Montgomery Design for several projects. Yeah, that's interesting, right, to name Sarah Montgomery Design. Because nobody's going to know why you stopped. Do you know what I mean? Uh, right, but it's not appropriate to say that she passed away. Okay, right. I could say he partnered with several design firms, most recently with Xander's Design. Yeah. Maybe not even mention. I mean, I kind of uh, have how to big mention. A name, how big a name is Sarah? I mean, does that, will that count with anybody who's going to come look at this? Well, I mean, not that big. She knows a lot of people. Right. I do mention it in the specific sites. Mm, okay. Which, which I think is appropriate. Right. You are way handsomer than that picture, I think. Thanks, honey. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's nice. Very Mary gets a, a, a note. Yeah, I, I guess I'm a volunteer with that. Sure, absolutely. Oh, that's very good. Lovely. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I, love, I like that your phone is just there. I don't like it when my only way to contact is. Oh, good. I, I recently added that. That's nice. 